Hi guys, welcome to Richard's Kitchen. Tonight we're going to have a healthy version of hamburgers and fries. Not something like you buy at the fast food store. I'm going to teach y'all how to make a healthy version of this. And so, I'll show y'all how to get do that. I'm just now getting uh, the potatoes. I've got a russet potato that I have cut up. I left the peeling on because I like the peeling. But I have just now finished cutting up these taters. And... One of the things I'm going to do while I continue is I'm going to put all these potatoes in a bowl of cold water. And what that does is that helps them release the starches in those potatoes. Because what you want with your french fries is crispy like you get with french fries, traditionally fried french fries. So this helps to do that. And you need to do that and let them soak in that water for about 30 minutes. And we'll get back to that in a second. So let's go over the ingredients, what we're going to need to do this. Of course, you've got to have a beer, excuse me, to get all this done. First, we got a pound of 96.4 extra lean ground beef. Like I said, I'm going to help you to make a very healthy burger. And uh, it actually comes in a little bit less fat than that after I explain what I'm going to do. So what we're going to do with that, with the burger, and once we throw this in here, we're going to throw this burger in our pan and we're going to salt and pepper it. Be generous on your salt. Oh, I'm excited. I like, I like hamburgers. I like the healthy version of hamburgers. And also what we've got, we've got some onion powder, some garlic powder, some paprika, some chili powder, some crushed red pepper flakes, some breadcrumbs, some, uh, all this right here that I just explained to you, these, these spices, that's in here. Now, what we're going to do, the one thing about an extra lean hamburger is they tend to be drier because obviously what makes a hamburger really good, the fat, but we're trying to reduce the fat. So, what we're going to do is we're going to add some veggies to that, <clears throat> and veggies have water. So it's going to add moisture. We're also going to put some, what do you call it? Worcestershire, yeah, that, in there to help it gain some moisture and be juicy once you cook it. So what we're going to do is we're going to mix the salt and pepper up in here first. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add some breadcrumbs. Breadcrumbs helps it hold together. And then the spices that I mentioned to you earlier, we're going to throw those in there. And then the veggies. Now what I've got in here is I've got some red onion, some chopped up celery, and some fresh herbs. Um, and the fresh herb that I'm using tonight is fresh thyme. I chopped up some thyme. And all those veggies have moisture in them. And that's going to help create, keep the moisture in your burger. And we're going to mix all this up. This is the messy part, is when you get all this done. I have the oven preheating at 425. And that's for the, the oven-baked fries. And I guarantee you, they will come out even crispier than a french fry that you'll buy at McDonald's. It's really good. And what we're going to do with these hamburgers, once we get them mixed, all these seasonings and veggies and everything all hooked up into this stuff we're going to form them into burgers and then to help keep the form once you put them on the grill or the pan what we want to do is we want to put them in the fridge for about 15 20 minutes and that helps firm those burgers up and they'll hold your form how many times you put a burger on the grill or the pan and they just start falling apart so, with these fries, once they uh, finish in this cold water in about 30 minutes, I'll come back and I'll show you what to do with that because we're going to top that off with some garlic and some Parmesan and salt. So, let's get these burgers formed. Now, what's good about these burgers, they're low fat. <clears throat> Excuse me, there's about 1.5 saturated fat in a in a, a four-ounce portion 
of uh, this 96.4 extra lean ground beef. That's not very much, as opposed <coughs> to your regular ground beef, which is about 80-20. Now, you're also going to lose a lot of fat once you put this thing in the, in, in the pan. A lot of that fat's going to drain off. So you're actually coming in at a little less than a gram of saturated fat, which is what you want. You don't want a lot of saturated fat. People diet and it drives me crazy. They just stop eating. Don't stop eating. You need to eat, people. <laughs> it's portion. Portion control. Make your own food. That way you control the salt, the sugar, and the fat <clears throat> that goes into your food. So, let's get these burgers formed here. Now, we got 16 ounces here, which is a pound. And we're going to try to come out at about four of these. Just roll them suckers up. Now, we're not looking for no monster burger here. We're just looking to keep it. That's pretty right there. Look at that. Ain't that pretty? Got all them veggies in there. Now what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to do four of them. And there's no way. Okay. My potatoes have been in there for 30 minutes in this water. Look at that. I'll show you what to do with that. Now we got we try to split this up. My dog is outside on the patio. He's looking at all the other doggies over across from the dog park. And he's out there. I guess he's ready to come in because he smells these burgers. <clears throat> yeah, come in a little bit light on that one. So, what we got is we got these burgers formed. And we're going to put these in the fridge for about 15-20 minutes. And let them get cold. And that's kind of different from what you do with the steak. But we want these things to hold together. So, I'll be right back with you once that's done. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is we got this, uh, these taters. They've been soaking in this water for about 30 minutes. And like I said, that releases the starches in there. And helps them get really crispy when you put them in the oven and you cook bake them that way. I've got a cookie sheet that is preheating in my 425 degree oven. Now you don't want to put these taters on a cold sheet and then throw them in the oven because you're not going to get <clears throat> the crispiness that you're looking for. So what we want to do is we want to put these taters on a double paper towel and then we just want to pat those things dry as much as we can. Because, like I said, you want them dry before you put them in the pan and the oven. Now, one other tip. Don't salt these things till the end. Reason being, what does salt do? Salt brings out moisture. So if you just salt these things, what's going to happen is you can bring out whatever excess water is left in these taters. Now, just mix them around a little bit and try to get them. Oops, that one's a done deal. And uh, get them as dry as you can. Now, I'm going to show you another little trick. further dry these and help you come out with that crispy texture that you're looking for right before you put them in the oven try to get them as much as on a single layer as you can and then what we're going to do is we're going to throw these little guys in the microwave for about three minutes now, once those things are done, that's going to further dry those. We'll give them one more little final pat, and then we'll put them in that hot pan that I've got preheating in the oven, and we'll start cooking them guys. Okay, these french fried taters, they've been <clears throat> going in the microwave. You can see they're a little bit flexible. There's no way they're, they're cooked. So, what we'll do is our preheated 
cookie sheet out of this this uh, oven and we'll start just kind of putting these taters on a single layer <coughs> on the cookie sheet then like I said we're not going to salt these until the very end because we want to keep as much moisture out of these things as possible we'll just give them one more pat I guarantee you when you hear me bite into these things it's going to be great because it is just so much better than french fries that you that you fry and a lot healthier so we're going to hit this with some pepper and then you're going to take some olive oil and we're just going to sprinkle that with that then we're going to give them a good mix make sure they're well coated Oh yeah, it smells good. Even they ain't even cooked. <clears throat> okay, now what we'll do is we'll throw these in the oven for about 25 minutes. You may have to turn them about halfway through. You just gotta turn the oven light on there so you can see what they're doing. Normally, I don't have to. I don't have to change. You know, flip them or anything because they just do well on their own. Anyway. Let's give that a chance to cook, and I'll be right back with y'all. Okay, while we're waiting on those taters to cook, we've got our burgers that's been sitting in the fridge for a while. And we've got our skillet here coming up to temp, put a little olive oil in there. Now keep in mind, olive oil's got a lot of good fat. It's not your vegetable oil. We're not going to be cooking it at a high heat, so you really don't need to use a an oil that that holds up to high heat which olive oil does not so what we'll do is we'll get that skillet a little hot and uh, we'll first start throwing these burgers on here while we're waiting on uh, our taters to finish inside the oven mm. that smells good can y'all smell that I wish y'all could because it sure smells good now what we got here is four burgers <laughs> I can't eat full burgers, but what we're going to do, I'll have some leftovers. And like I said, each one of these burgers is going to come in at a little less than a gram of saturated fat. Because I'm using extra lean ground beef. And uh, it's, it's, kind of, it's kind of healthy. Now a lot of people, they, they shy away from burgers because they're fat. They are fat. They are high in fat. Especially the burgers you buy at the fast food stores. I mean, quarter pound, half pound, that double meat water burger. Whew! I love that. But, you know. Okay. We're going to throw these burgers in the pan. Got them veggies in there. And we're going to let them things just cook. Can y'all hear that? That sounds good. I love that sound of sizzle. My goodness sakes alive. Okay, let's check on these burgers here. They've been going several minutes. Let's give them a flip. Oh, look at that. That looks good. Look at that. Nice sear on that thing. It smells so good in here. It's like I didn't have that over there on that side a little bit. Okay, we're about 15 minutes into our taters. Let's check on them. Oh, Lord, have mercy. They, they look so good. We're going to let these burgers cook down just a little bit more. What we're going to do with our burgers, we've also got some maters. And some, I've got romaine lettuce because iceberg lettuce has very little nutritional value. Maybe some vitamin K and some carbohydrates, but that's about it. Romaine lettuce has a lot more nutritional value. Some red onion. And I got a very thin slices of extra sharp cheddar cheese. And we're going to top those burgers with that. Alright, let's check on these burgers. They've been going a little while. <clears throat> Another little hint about burgers. A lot of people eat their burgers medium, rare. 
or even rare. Aside from the bacteria that's still in the meat from eating it that way. We can talk about that another show. But basically, if you cook these things darn well near to well done, you extract just that much more fat out of these birds. Now, this particular show is about reducing the fat. So, I'm going to cook these things to just about well done. The veggies and the spices that I have in there is going to keep this thing juicy. Uh, as you can see, I've got I've got real good char on those burgers. It's locking those juices in. And uh, I've done this before, and it, it's real good. It's real tasty. A lot better than a burger you buy. Well, maybe not a water burger, but it's pretty darn good. Okay, these burgers are done. <clears throat> Look at that. Ain't that pretty? We're going to plate these things up and wait for the taters to, to finish cooking. And then we're going to put these this thing on a bun. And I say it's almost time to eat. Okay, these uh, taters just about done. We're going to take these things out of here now. now while they're hot, what you want to do... Go ahead and salt them now. While they're hot, you don't have to worry about salt extracting the moisture out of it. Gonna take some minced garlic and just spread that over that right there. Whoo, they smell good. Yes, buddy. Garlic Parmesan oven baked taters. Now, you want to hit it while it's hot with that Parmesan cheese. Yes, sir. How about that? Now, I say it's time to plate up this burger while that cheese is melting over there. Now, I found some buns, some hamburger buns. You know, white bread is typically not good for you, but this has got a total fat content. Ooh, those are fresh. Of one gram. No saturated fat. Now, mayonnaise will get you in trouble. A lot of hidden fat. A lot of times when you hit when you eat burgers, they uh, have a lot of hidden fat. So mustard is a is a uh, healthier alternative. You just hit that one side and a little bit of ketchup. Not much because it's got a lot of sugar in it. Now, you put a couple pieces of, of sharp cheddar on there and a mater and some romaine lettuce because it's healthier. Look at that. Ain't that pretty? And a red onion. And we take our, our burger and we put that burger right on there. Look at that. Ain't that pretty? Ooh, Lord have mercy, that's so pretty. Now, if you can see this, you know I'm about pretty. We take some fresh parsley, spread them over those taters, and we put that burger up, up on there, and we get some of these crispy garlic parmesan fries. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, it's so good. Can't wait to put my mouth on that. Look at that. How about that? <clears throat> a healthier version of a burger. You need not worry anymore about a lot of saturated fat. I have come in at about a little over one gram of saturated fat with a burger. How about that? Anyway, give that a try. It takes a little time to do, but it's real tasty. And uh, uh, you'll, uh, your heart will be happy. See y'all next time, y'all. Bye-bye.